Let's qu talk quickly about Giorgio Moroder, an amazing track, a spoken word track. It takes me back to kind of the old disco era where you'd have a, a symphony on one side of an album. It was that was that kind of the uh, the the target that you the, wanted to get with that? The idea was to really have an ability to make a track about a musician's life. And, and you know, Giorgio's career is amazing. It starts in the Italian Alps, you know, as, as this uh, uh, kid that then becomes uh, a musician doing like easy listening uh, music, playing in hotel lounges in the early 60s. Then he moves to Germany and, and has this career in German pop music. Then he starts uh, uh, disco with um, Donna Summer and, and somehow uh, a techno as well with uh, Midnight Express and moves to uh, America and have all this, has all this um, um, amazing um, career in, in, in film scoring. So it really shows that there are no rules and that, you know, it was an, an innovator that really broke all the rules. And that's what this song is too. It's about, you know, it's about music in general too, which is Giorgio's life is a metaphor for music and for f the freedom of music. It feels and like you want to promote his legend. It was almost like you wanted to <laughs> tell the world about I don't think he needs us to promote <laughs> his legend somehow, you know. Well, maybe I to think. a new generation. Possibly. The ability to work with Giorgio, which is now 72 years old, and or Paul Williams, and feeling those people have, have really shaped us and influenced us uh, and shaped us and inspired us as, as human beings, you know, and discovering th their music and their art when we were kids. And even Niall uh, pointed out that, that almost his interaction to disco was almost through uh, Donna Summer, I Love to Love You Baby, you know, that, that kind of like shaped also chic in some sense, you know.